Hello, I'm Tim Keister. I'm the Senior Planner Scheduler Work Control Subject Matter Expert with Lifecycle Engineering. Today I'm going to be covering five elements that a planner considers when they're planning out a maintenance activity. And these are very important elements that uh, sometimes uh, are not specifically addressed as well as they should be. So let's look at the first one that we're talking about, and that's people. When we're talking about people, we're talking about skill set. Do I need a welder? Do I need a mechanic? Do I need an instrumentation? Do I need specific skill sets? So we identify what people we need as far as skills. We also identify how many we need as we're planning it out. And then another element of that is our estimate. How long will we need those particular skill sets for the course of that maintenance activity? So it's very important that we identify that. The second element is the place. When we're talking about the place, we're talking about the asset, we're talking about where it's physically located, because we should be identifying the asset back to the work order, and where it's located, because we want to save time when that maintenance, act, the maintenance person is going out to that area, because we do not want to waste their time trying to find it, as far as also on that asset where it's physically located. Some conveyors may be several hundred feet long, and we want to make sure that we send those maintenance personnel to the right location, and they're not searching up to 100 feet, 200 feet of conveyor trying to figure out where it's at. Uh, the next part that we want to cover is the time. The time is the scheduling element. Where, when can we do it? What particular day? When can we coordinate with operations in order to, uh, that meets their production needs? As well as what's our availability of labor resources? So it's particular, whether it be a t uh, during a shutdown, time of the week, or a specific day of that week and a time of that particular day. Very important we identify that. So the, and so the fourth thing that we're looking at would be tools, equipment, and materials. What tools? Specialty tools. We're not talking about the normal maintenance person's uh, tools that they have in their toolbox or on their tool belt. We're talking about what's needed above and beyond that. The type of tools would be normally would be outside their normal tool inventory. What equipment is necessary to do that particular maintenance activity as well? Do I need a man lift? Do I need a crane? Do I need a forklift? Do I need a carry deck in order to move that material around to pull a piece of equipment out or a component and put the new one in? And then the third part of that is the material. It's very important that we identify to the best of our abilities what material is needed, spare parts, components, assemblies, in order to make that maintenance repair. We use whatever resources to determine what those materials, whether it be uh, our vendors, whether it be a, a, a master mechanic, master electrician on that crew, or the maintenance supervisor, or our own experience, we're determining the materials in order to do that job. The last part, the fifth one, is information. Information can be in many forms. It may be the disassembly reassemble uh, uh, book from the operating uh, manual. It may be specific torque specs, may be clearances. What information is needed in order to support that work? That can support the maintenance person that is doing that work and they don't have to rely on their own memory in order to do that. Another part of this is what are the safety elements that are identified associated with that work activity? What permits do we need in order to accomplish that as well? So it's very important we capture that and we capture some experience from others that we do as our labor changes, we maintain that information, that accuracy for future work. So this is very important. These are five elements that planners need to be considering when they're planning out maintenance activity. The right people, the right place or the asset, the time it's going to happen, what tools, equipment, and material are associated, and the information that's going to support that. 
I thank you for your time, and if you have any questions about this topic, please contact me or at lce.com. Thank you.